Hey church family, Pastor Stephen here, going to bring you a devotional thought today from Psalm 63. Psalm 63 says, and we're just going to do the first eight verses. Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. In your name, I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with fat and rich food, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. There is a little catchphrase that's uh, trendy, maybe with some uh, younger folks. They may be talking about a hamburger. They may be talking about a song. They may be talking about an app, but you'll hear people say, this is giving me life right now. And it's just a, uh, a little catchphrase way to say, I am loving this. I, this certain specific thing is really, really doing it for me. It's in us, friends. It's hardwired into every one of us. There's a thirst and a longing for a fulfilling and satisfying life. Another way to say it is peace of mind, contentment, just knowing that we're okay and that we feel okay. Uh, Paul Tripp says this, it's important to realize that you can search for life in only two places. Either you have found life to the fullest vertically or you are shopping for it horizontally. This is a major piece of what Paul was writing about in Romans 1, 25, when Paul said, they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever, amen. So we have to ask ourselves, what is that lie? It is the lie that was first told in the Garden of Eden. The false promise that life heart-satisfying life could be found in something outside the Creator. In Psalm 63, as David pled to God for his current thirst and desperate need for hope, he was in a desert. So he's pleading for God for joy. Perhaps the status of our world has confronted you and me with just how temporary it all is. Maybe this current desert of the sickness, of the economy, of concerning politics has you anxious, longing, and it's revealed a thirst and a, and a craving that nothing in this world can satisfy. Perhaps it's left you unsettled. Truly, this is a time when perhaps our go-to sources of satisfaction are coming up empty. I want to encourage us and urge my own heart to follow David's example of delighting in the past faithfulness of God, worshiping Him till our souls are so full and satisfied, it's as if we've had a steak dinner with dessert. I mean, that's literally what David says in verse 5, that his soul would be as satisfied as if he had eaten uh, fat and rich food. Do you find yourself thinking things like, I'm over this. Okay, I've about had it. Okay, I'm done. I've had enough. Or maybe you have that feeling inside of you of deep discontentment with what life looks like right now. I just want us to use this scripture as a mirror into our own hearts Could it be that the Holy Spirit is revealing that the sources we visit for life-giving substance, they're not performing right now? 
It's revealing a deeper thirst only the Lord can satisfy. I want to challenge you and me to bless the Lord, to praise the Lord, to remember his works, to sing for joy, to cling to the Lord. All these verbs of action David takes when he's parched and dry. Paul Tripp goes on to say, could it be today that you will fretfully search horizontally for what you have already been given in Christ? Will you try to drink from an empty well when you have already been given thirst quenching living water? Oh, brother and sister in Christ, let us run to the only source of soul quenching uh, life giving joy, satisfaction, contentment, and hope. It is nothing this world has to offer, even in the best of economies, even in the best of times. Maybe this whole thing is one of its uses in the hands of the Lord is to reveal our deeper need to find all of our joy and all of our contentment, all of our satisfaction that he's given us. He's created us to to have these things. But by grace, he's given us himself to satisfy. I pray that you will run to that source of living water today. Amen. Be blessed, church.